Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be unboxing review the new Sega CM9S compact digital camera. Just go ahead and get this in out of the box. I believe I'm going to be the first one on YouTube to unbox this kind of weird camera. Pretty big box for a little camera. I don't usually like unboxing, I say that all the time and I keep doing unboxings, but uh, the thing about this is like, check out this, bo this box, <laughs> it's something really special. Look at all the protection. Check it out, this is a good unbox. Ooh, fancy. Okay, instructions manual, let's check it out if you have English. Guarantee card, I believe, it's all in Chinese. Manual only in Chinese. Okay, it doesn't matter, let's put this away. Who actually read the manuals anyway? And let's go to what really matters, what's really important. Look at this, this is a good box, solid. Ooh, check this out. Now, this is a presentation for a camera. Canon, Sony, Nikon, learn from this video. This is how you introduce your cameras. This is beautiful. It's even smell good, smell like, this is really good. Look at this. This is, I believe, the, the carrying leather case. And, and it, it looks like it's actually real leather. Amazing. Well, the camera. Everything comes with plastic bag. Kind of like a Chinese thing. Oh, wow. So here we have it. This is the Seagull CM9S. What this is actually, it's not a TLR camera, of course not. Um, that's from the, you know, the very old cameras have two lenses. One was to look at it, in which you open here and you can look through it. And then the other lens is to actually take the picture until SLRs came along in which they have a one lens and then a mirror that flip up and down and, and solve the problem of the dual lens. And, but this is, you know, it's for nostalgic people like me. I used to have an old Seagull, like an actual old TLR. And, this is amazing that they make it digital. Uh, it's not gonna be an amazing camera. This is not gonna replace your mirrorless camera or your digital SLR, not at all. These have a one seven of an inch sensor size, which means it's slightly bigger than your, your phone, like your iPhone, but smaller than, for example, the RX100 from Sony. So yeah, this, more or less a big sensor for a compact digital camera. But for such a big camera, this is, and it's heavy. This is probably heavier than a, a small DSLR and bigger as well. So the sensor is actually tiny for such a big camera, but bigger than phones. Uh, the lens, you have, a, you have an actual optical zoom. I believe, um, well, here is, he say that the aperture is f1.4 to f4.7. And I believe this is a 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent to full frame. The lens looks really big. And I like how they keep all the, the details just like the old cameras. But of course, this is not an old camera, this is new. And because it's not a TLR, here you have a lens. And this is not a lens, this is actually a projector. So you can watch movies or your videos that you shoot with this camera or pictures directly into a wall. This is pretty impressive. Right here, there is a screen, uh, just like the way you used to shoot pictures many years ago, in which you look down at the camera and then you shoot, but you don't really need to use it if you don't want, because you have a pretty massive uh, a screen here, and it's touch screen. This is a 4.3 inches touch screen. At the moment, this camera has no battery, so I'm not gonna be able to turn it on. I just wanna show you, because this scene just arrived, and it looks, it looks really beautiful. It's heavy. I gotta tell you, it's heavy. 
You have these things to support the camera, so when you put it down, well, I mean, it just looks nice. There is a pop-up flash right here. Um, obviously, uh, you pop the flash with this thing. Uh, for some reason, there are like infrared ports. One, two, three. So there are infrared ports everywhere, basically. And then uh, these things here are for the for this thing, which is also made of leather, so you can hang it. Yeah, very nice. Walking around the street with this camera, that could be something interesting. Uh, inside here, I also can find a USB charging cable some other charging cable. I don't know why there's two. Um, damn, the quality of this thing. This is actual real leather. This is fantastic. Let's put this back. And the way to operate this camera, which I find it very, very awkward. Uh, maybe when we're talking about comparing this with the old TLR times, maybe it's not so awkward, but it is, it is kind of complicated as today's kind of camera. So basically you have a button which you need to push and switch to one side to start the camera and it locks into position. And then you push and switch to spin the, 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 this wheel. Uh, and then you go into projection mode um, so you can watch movies and stuff. So you can open the projector. Um, there is a little uh, LED beam light which help you focus in, in low light. That's, that's good to have. Uh, here on the side, there are the ports. By the way, this is, I doubt this is leather. This is, looks more like a sticker, a stick on top of the camera. Everything is metal, that's, that's for sure, but I don't know what, which material is this. Doesn't look very high quality, but looks okay. So here we have a micro HDMI, micro USB, um, the, the power outlet. Over here at the bottom, we have the SD card slot. And check this out. Have like a secret compartment. And then you got a remote control to wireless trigger your camera or use your projector wireless. Like so you can just have a projector and you start, stop, whatever you want to do. And then when you don't use it, back inside the camera. And this is really cool. Uh, in this side, what we have is like the different modes. So we got uh, manual mode, then we have some other modes. I don't know what that is. Looks like uh, portrait mode. I don't know what that is. A manual mode. So we have an auto mode, a manual mode, and some other modes in between that I don't know what they are. And then we can say, change the settings from this wheel. So like the shutter, aperture. You can also send from the, uh, change everything from the touch screen. And then here is to uh, preview the files. You can come here and preview the files. And this thing here controls the zoom of the camera. By the way, when you zoom in or out, nothing moves. The lens is always there. It's like a, looks like a fixed lens, but actually the lens is moving on the inside of the camera, which is really cool. Uh, this is the OK button. So basically it's just push here, probably to take pictures. No, sorry, to take pictures is this one over here, right at the front, just so like in the original TLR cameras. And over here is to shoot videos. By the way, this camera should, um, the highest resolution is 16 megapixel, which is today's standard, I think it's pretty okay. But for videos, it can only do 1080p at 30 frames per second. So don't think about doing a slow motion with this camera. This is not for that. Um, basically this camera, generally speaking, is, is a camera for old timers that feel nostalgic and wanna have something nice looking, um, I guess, nice looking. But to be honest, I think I bought it more because of the projector than the camera. And of course, you know, I, I'm being a photographer, I kind of like these kind of things. But there you have it. I uh, just wanted to do a very quick unboxing review of this camera. I hope you like it. If you like it, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe.